Welcome to the second part of running the Moses for Me Immortals demo. In the first part, uh, I showed you how to train a corpus and uh, tune it, and now we are going to see uh, the translation and uh, the scoring uh, uh, parts. So, to start running the translate script, you go to the same folder uh, where the scripts, all the scripts are. You open the translate script. And as always, there is the path that has to be identical to the others and the MMM that you sh must not change. Uh, afterwards, there is a field that you must fill in absolutely for Moses to know which is the corpus that uh, you want uh, to use for a particular translation because you can have more than one corpus, uh, one training in, a, in a, a, Moses, a Moses for Me Immortals installation. So, you just uh, rename it, uh, uh, copy-paste, it is the best uh, way to do it. The cores, there is no need to change because it doesn't take much capacity and the other settings you leave them as they are. The rest is the instructions and as usual don't change anything if you don't know what you are doing. So you save the, the change that you made to the script and uh, what you need afterwards it is of course to have the document to translate. In this case there is already a corpus of 500 segments which is identical of the one used to, to do the test of the training um, uh, and here you can uh, copy all the documents you want to translate uh, um, in batch, uh, uh, no matter how many, uh, and they must all be in uh, uh, text-only UTF-8 uh, format, just like for the training. So, um, you open the terminal, um, um, position yourself in the location of the scripts, and uh, uh, type in uh, translate and return. So it starts uh, translating the document uh, that is all the documents that are in the translation input uh, folder. In this case, it is only the corpus for test uh, that we are using here. I am skipping the translation part. Uh, we are already at the end um, and uh, it has the report. Everything was all right. The translation was finished and it says where the report and the log is as usual. So if you, uh, if, uh, you look uh, at, the, at the, the Moses for Me Immortal um, output, uh, translation output folder, subfolder, you can see that uh, the translation is there. If, you, uh, if there is any problem, uh, see the log. Uh, because it's there that uh, you have recorded the, the, the message of the error. I always say, say this because sometimes error <laughs> happen. And uh, what is more important, it is the log and you, as usual, go to the log, to the MMM reports, translate and you open the translate uh, uh, report. So here is the time it took, about five minutes, the languages uh, that were used, the corpus that were used, and uh, the parameters that uh, were in the, in the script. And of course it was done with all the defaults as you, uh, we are running the demo, uh, we haven't changed anything. If you want to change uh, uh, some settings, uh, go to the tutorial. So it was easy, now we have the score. Uh, how to run the score, the same thing, uh, click on score and here you don't have much to do, uh, it's just uh, you have the introductory part, you have the, um, the instructions of uh, 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 what files uh, are necessary for it to run and the important one it is that you have to have a translation, a human reference. Uh, the cores, it's not important to change them because uh, translation doesn't take as much uh, computer power as the training. And the batch user note, it is a field that you can, uh, in which you can write whatever you want so that you identify the scoring. Uh, in this case, I'm going to write demo test corpus. The rest of the script is as usual, the instructions, don't touch them. So, uh, you just uh, um, save uh, the, the script with the, these changes. Uh, 
And here we have uh, in the input uh, the, the source uh, document, in the output the machine translation by Moses, and here we have to have a reference, and the reference is a, um, a human translation against which, which the Mo uh, Moses uh, will, uh, the scorer will uh, um, evaluate the quality of uh, machine translation output. Of course, that uh, you have to take into consideration that what is done is a doc compare, so to speak. <laughs> uh, well, it's more complicated than that, but uh, it is a comparison between the machine translation output and the human translation. As we know, a, doc, uh, a sentence may be translated in many different ways, and the fact that uh, uh, machine translation is not identical to that particular human translation doesn't mean that it is bad. But uh, it gives, uh, in a very uh, fast way, an idea of uh, um, the level. If you have a score of, uh, of 50 or 60, it is uh, considered good. Uh, if you have a score of 20, it is very bad. And we always talk uh, in percentages of uh, 100 not uh, in uh, zero to one as it is uh, um, here in the in the in the scores that uh, that are given in in the in the in the in the logs so you just write uh, uh, dot slash score and the score runs very quickly because this is a very a very small a very small uh, uh, um, document to score. So, if uh, you go to the reports, you will see, even in the title of the report, you have the NIST and the, the BLA scores. Uh, the BLA is the most used score, so um, I'm only refer I've, I've referred only to, the, to that score, but that is always the, uh, the other one, the NIST score. So, you can see here that it has the same score because it is the same corpus with the same uh, um, uh, engine so uh, the result uh, is the same so you have we have uh, um, finished the, the demonstration of the several uh, the more important scripts uh, now just a tip uh, about uh, the translation script uh, as it is very boring if you have several uh, engines in the same installation to change the name of the report file every time you want to do a translation you can just uh, uh, change uh, replace here the name for instance in this case of the uh, uh, corpus not tuned by the training tuned copy the full path including report and replace it in that field uh, this uh, this means that uh, uh, when the script is run, it will uh, translate with the tuned corpus and not with the corpus without tuning. So you save as the, the file and uh, you rename it uh, any way you, you want. Here I'm going to write PTEN tuned to make uh, the difference uh, with the untuned um, engine. So you have two files, you click on it, and it opens right away. So if it opens right away, it means that it is not executable, as it happened, uh, if you remember, in the installation. So you have to, we have to change that. So what you do is just um, uh, right-click on the name, Properties, Permissions, and click on execute allow executing file as program and now you have the four options you can uh, display it again so it is with the new path and uh, you can run it again uh, uh, normally of course you have to have in the input something uh, one or more documents uh, be sure that uh, uh, it is empty well you can have other documents no problem because you will uh, uh, Moses will translate uh, only the documents that are new, which is that uh, there is a, a document with a certain name in the input uh, uh, a folder and there is not 
a document with the same name in the output folder. If um, if um, uh, you forget or you you have all the translations there, no problem. You, you will only translate the documents that are not translated yet in the translation output folder. So the script is there. You just double click on it. Run in terminal. In this case, we don't want to see the end. You already seen it. The the the, the terminal will uh, disappear. So uh, when the, the operation is finished, I'm going to skip the translation. And as you see, it uh, uh, the the file or the files, if there were several. Uh, are uh, displayed in the translation output uh, folder and here you have the machine translation uh, Portuguese into English of the that document with 500 uh, segments. So thank you very much for watching this video. There will be, uh, uh, there are also uh, uh, videos on uh, Corpora, what you have to do to prepare the corpora, and also the translation, how to prepare the documents to be translated by Moses, and how afterwards to uh, convert them into a TMX uh, file to be used in uh, a CAT tool. Thanks a lot.